serious thing. Yes, say give thanks to life, man. Serious thing. We are here again, Ballhead and the Grid. Give thanks for everyone tuning in from those times. So now, if you get free time, make sure you check out INeverNewTV.com. Powerful reason with the one Yaki Awaken. Reason that they're on the heights, don't want to miss. Also, um, have to let you know, make sure you tune in on Sundays. I Never Knew Radio, yours truly, the Ballhead, Derek Juggling, Roots Music, Lovers Rock on WLOI.org from 9 to 10 on Sundays, 8 to. 8 to what? Nah, I'm giving y'all the wrong thing. Sundays, <laughs> 9 to 11. 9 to 11 on Sundays, Wednesdays, 8 to 10, and Thursdays, 10 to noon, all Eastern Standard Time. Also, if you want to hear some roots music with a powerful message and some sweet melodies, check out Fire Eyes Hype EP, Disrupting the Status Quo, in the description. Fire, what we're reasoning about today? Yes, sir. Yeah, and today we're reasoning about the power of music because enough people not always say music is a medicine, you know. And music is a thing where you can heal you, but it's not the something where you can heal you alone, you know. There's an next side to it. Music is a thing where you can tear you apart. You can very much tear you apart and destroy, destroy your whole mood, your whole mentality. So I don't really want to uh, discuss today something from, because we know something that we, a lot of people, everybody can relate to for the most part. And I know there's only a few of them say, in other world, are probably about 2% or 1% maximum who don't listen to music at all, which so them consider it to be some form of abnormality. So what's the reason about it now? Nah, serious thing. And I can attest. That's a man that listen to music 24-7. This music thing, that's why, that's why music is so powerful. And I think that artists don't understand and fully grasp the magnitude they have to impact someone's life. And that's why we burn a fire so hard on the artists that use the music, that utilize their talents, in a destructive way because music can really change people's lives. It can increase their day. It can really bring a person out of the, the worst moments, you know, out of depression, out of pressure. You know, it could give a person encouragement. It could give you upliftment. I got a playlist. <laughs> I got I got a playlist on my Spotify bar. Everybody right? listen to that. It's time to work. You get what I'm saying? And it's just like, but it's nothing but up, uplifting tunes. And I give thanks for all the artists out there. And I will say that before we get into it, because we know in the past we burned some heavy fire in the artists. And in their defense, what I've learned is that a lot of them deep in their heart, if they were able to, they would make that type of music. If if they were able to and actually uh, be paid for it. So I think the reason they don't is because of the, the taste of the consumer. Because they have to provide you something that you're going to pay for. And if they're making the music and you're not paying for it, they can't sit there and suffer. You know, so, but this music thing, Farai, right, I'm going to get right into the thing. There's a tune on United States of Africa album from Luciano. I'm not sure the year it was uh, released. I think it was released in 2010. And I believe, I don't know, Dwayne Stevenson wrote all the songs on the album. Probably did still, right? But there's a tune called Moving On, yeah. Farai, right, it comes out every time I listen to this song, it's like tears in my eyes, yeah. I can't, I can't. If I was to listen to this right now, you see my eyes word up. The tune is so, anybody listening, take time. Luciano, one of my top artists of all time, right? Luciano. Uh, it's called Moving On. And it really captured the struggle of many men, Fire. It's on the, um, it's on, it's on like a, a revamp, smiling face rhythm. You and the smiling face, right? It got, got the little modern um to it, but. Yeah, Farai just really captured the struggle of man in the sense that he's like caught in a little place where, you know, he journeying, but he can't quit and he's just going to continue the journey because he's like, oh, I'm going to turn back now, you know, and most people can relate to that. And I can relate to that because um, people think because you're progressive, you don't have struggles and you don't want to quit and you don't have your down times, you know. I think the only difference between those people and the rest of the people is that you continue, you know what I'm saying, and you have a healthy relationship with your mind where you could talk yourself out of certain things and clarify negative low vibes in your head. But yeah, it's just that journey fire in the sense. And then he was, he was just saying how it's just him at the end of the day, you know? And a lot of times we do get support, but it's you against you. Don't get it twisted now. You know, universe may serve, send some people to assist, but at the end of the day, it's you with you and decision. It's decisions that you make really impact the outcome in the life that you have you know and, and sometimes when you're there 
and you just want to give up. Yo, you got to make that decision to continue. And what I learned in life, all right, you know, when you continue, it's like sweet to tell you the truth. I don't know. Sometimes you just got to get to the next day, man. You know, sometimes you got to get to the next day and like, yeah, that's a powerful tune I say. Respect to Luciana, yo, because Luciana has so many tunes to tell you the truth, yo. You have Over the Hills. You have a tune called Never Give Up. You have a tune there. What tune from Luciana really put the fire on him? You have a tune, Time is the Master. It's not a big tune, but it's a powerful tune. Um, you have a tune called Under Jack Canopy. You know that one? Doris Riley got a tune on the same rhythm. Um, one, Two, Order. You know that One, Two, Order tune from Doris? Luciana have a tune there, Under Jack Canopy. Um, a very powerful tune. What is another tune fire that really, really get me going fire? Sizzle have a tune called What Does It Worth from Royal Sons of Ethiopia Fire when they say can't bring a stream. Oh, they say can't bring a stress in the stream and the Zion fire. Your meditation. <laughs> All right, your med- you can't go stress out your meditation for your head to work. You know, and these some, I'm telling you these powerful, I'm just doing, we just doing with reggae for the podcast. Obviously there songs from other genres that carry the lick, but one more tune for right, before you jump in the gong, right? He have a tune called Revelation, right? When the man say kill, cramp, and paralyze all weak heart conception fire. That's one of the most powerful chants in one of the gong tunes. And many other artists have said it too, so don't get it twisted. I'm not saying gong's the origin of this, but the way the man said it and carried in the melody and the conviction in this man's voice when he said it, man, because this is an affirmation you should say all the time, kill, cramp, and paralyze all weak heart conception. If anyone not familiar with what I'm saying, you need to kill cramp and paralyze all the negative thoughts in your head you have about yourself all right you just got to catch it and acknowledge it and say what is this not going to work like this we're doing something different if you're constantly just getting to your mind it's not going to work because remember it's not the fact of it working or not working because you have no control over the outcome but sometimes when those thoughts get in your head you don't you don't follow through with the action and there are two things that happen when you follow through with the action. One, you're definitely going to learn something, right? And it heightens the probability of things working out in your favor. I want to be clear for I'm not selling no achievement speech. Am I, am I being clear? <laughs> right? So I ain't telling you because you do something and you listen to this music, something going to happen. I'm not saying that. But when the man said kill, cramp, and paralyze all weak heart conceptions for him, you have to be knowledgeable of the thoughts running through your mind and you, no one else, have to catch yourself and practice it to say this can't work. It's foolish. The mind is a weird thing, yeah. I don't think we clearly understand the mind because the mind take you, the mind will take you all way over some weird you don't need to be and you over here chilling. So you have to practice. My mind is a listen. I'm going to keep it real with you. I really have to. I've been practicing and I've actually said better, but my mind will take me way somewhere I don't need to. I could be here chilling. Having a good time, my mom might take me to some weird dark place, you know. And I had to just work on myself to say this can't work. Like, why? Why am I partaking in this behavior? It's just a thought. You know what I'm saying? Like, why am I partaking in this behavior? What's the benefit? And you just have to catch yourself. But Bob Marley Revelation, numerous tunes from Luciano, especially uh, moving on. Um, Sizzla, what is it worth? There are many other tunes, but those are the ones I can say where really Sasko have a tune called um grateful with Stephen marley it's a powerful tune yeah that's gonna have a lot of tunes <laughs> that's gonna have a lot of powerful tunes but you have a tune grateful that's a very powerful tune chesedek have a tune called journey on the rhythm with iowa mar uh uh get up and show i don't know if you powerful tune fire you know but the music, man, the music is definitely, I think you should use music in your healing too because that's why you got to be careful to the music that you miss, you're listening to because some of this music puts you in a darker place. Man, talking about killing people and depression and all this darkness and you're already struggling. So you're next, probably. You need to do And sometimes it's good to listen to instrumentals too. I learned that from my Muslim brother. You know? No lyrics, just instrumental. But you know, it kind of build up your spirit and had that vibe for all right. So, but what's some of them tunes there? I know some tunes that give you energy, but what's some of the tunes that please share with the people? Some tunes that are really kind of give you that inspiration, that energy that you need, yeah. And you know, say, you know, say, well, like, like, me, I was confused when when time, when time get all the question about about, about tune like, where, where, where give me the energy that because I feel like it just depends upon upon the, the phase of my day in my life too. I'm 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 and and personally for the reason, yeah, my thing say. 
But I'm more focused on the, on, on the musical that rather than even the artist or the song them per se because what I really, what I really want to say though is like, fair. Yeah, sometimes the mind is a thing where it just overload with, 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 with the realities of life. Yeah, and there's so much different things that take place in our life where as we, you just said, you said so perfect how we can tie it back it tied to the music. Like you said, so sometimes the mind's trigger and all far away over this of fire. I wonder how the mind reach over there, you know, because you know yourself, not even conscious of that, you know. I know, some, and, and, and that's why I find music so fascinating, because personally, personally, my over addiction to music is something where sometimes I have to catch myself and move away from it, because so that's, that's the reason, as so comes me, <coughs> me personally, as so comes sports coming in my life, like, Football, for go watch a one football and cool up my brain, cool up my brain, or what I want reasoning way. I think a reasoning because I feel like music could have still a bit too much in you know, that. Because the over addiction to music is just a not, not a, it's a different type of thing. I feel like the only thing in a life that can carry human beings through without, without them getting too much of it. You know, like what I wanted to say, you eat, you eat a particular food, that even though it might have potassium, it might have iron, it might have calcium. But you can't eat too much right because if you consume too much right, then then it will lead to a problem in a problem in your life now. But when it comes to music, I feel like music is one of them type of medicine that way it's normal. Like every song is like a medication for a particular ailment. So you say, you know, if you have if a person have arthritis and them say them that take some Guinean weed or them have something else to apply for that particular thing. There's a song where apply for every single particular mood, every single particular moment will take place in your life. And you're not, you're not even, you're not, you're not even overstands enough people never even take a plane yet for you to ensure your own music powerful. They never take a plane yet, but they know what going over Africa because they can listen to somebody from that environment, environment and know what take place within the environment and feel the environment. And there I mentioned about the, even the instrumental is a key thing where, you know, enough people overstands that music is, music is literal. It sounds like a cliche. Um, I sound repetitive, but music is life in a sense where you can't sing right as any different sound. Because some musicians get inspired in them ear to so earth earth tone and them earth tone there's just something where man recording a bass band the vibes, the vibes are the settings where I wanted in you know. And as so comes now you get even them instrument then. That's why instrumentals are important because instrumental can show you how how different different variations of thing in a life combine for form one pose, one sound. Because you'd never overstand say a drum, a beat pan a pattern, a tree, one, two, three, and then something else, one, two, three, four, and something else a beat pan a different timing, and it's still combined for make a unit. So music is a thing where even show we are sure we as human beings say we not have to be the same, you know. But when time we combine, we will combine for build a force way. When time people hear it, it sound like one, it have a unity towards it. And most people now overstand them thing they fire, say. And it is that thing where music you can over music are the only drug <laughs> where you can overindulge, you know. I just I end up become I end up become become a person who 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 is like a deterrent to the society or, or sorry, like a tyrant to the society. Because I may tell you that the way our music can captivate you, how we we supposed to use music in our way where it just uplift you. Cause remember, you know, if you in a bad situation right now, as right now as a human being. I'm sure now, probably the first thing you're going to listen to a song for cool out your brain. And then it depends upon all the song we are listen to. Because me, personally, man always tell me, say, oh, me this whole debate about how oh, your yeah, music um, can't influence crime and them things. That's garbage because shit levels. Me, me don't see that personally fire. Me see cases where, where, where man, friend, man, man and them friend get shut after and them things. And when time man come and sit down by ends and go get himself together. The first thing him start do I listen some vibes card till I'm start listen some listen some some different type of dark dance all tune and I say, Oh them boy they go feel it and I drink him liquor him alcohol. What do you think that I do to him? In a fiend brain, in a fiend brain right off the bat that they say, you know, I gear him, I gear up himself, you know, so him I use them words and them sound as 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 a power for motivate him via retaliation, you know. So people always uh, overlook them type of small things there. While well, just in an in a opposite case now, you have a youth where I study for your exam and I study for your major a major life achievement. And them say, all right, boy, them really ready now, ready now for get things together. What do you think them are do to? Them are listen to some happy music and some music we can give them the vibes. They forgot in it with the right mind frame. But not the right mind frame and then that in itself I can motivate them now for either go pass them exam and start ch- apply some changes to them life. And then the, the last part of my answer about the book about this music thing too. Everybody gonna laugh, find this funny. 
because you realize say, when most of the time the artists them I will listen to when I know them personally, right? But how them come so close to knowing why in our brain? You realize that music is like music is our conscience, you know. I know people, I'm sure not everybody can relate to that, you know. Music is like your conscience. You ever, you ever hear a song, you hear a song and I say, oh, the man knows that that me I think, or oh, the, the woman knows that this me I think. And yet, you're the person that never meet yet. It's sure it's show the universal nature of a human being. You know what happened with that fire? Now, let me, um, I didn't write down what I wanted to text you on what she said, but I want to text you on this real quick. The reason that happens that is the artist, for the most part, is the modern a philosopher there's a brilliance you need to put a song i don't think people understand how brilliant you need to be to put a song together yeah. like to put a song together and put it towards with melody because a lot of people have assistance right before anyone to put a song together there's a level of brilliance now what happens is this because we're so trained to not share our struggles and always present ourselves as everything is good the artist now being vulnerable is just touching on what everybody else is going through. But if you were to talk to each other, you would come to the conclusion that you're going through the same thing. You know, so the artist is really uh, opening themselves up to the world, which is very therapeutic for artists. That's why some of them really find solace in music. But it's just like when they're able to create, I think, in this truest form and not pressured by the system, I think that's why the most beautiful music is created in these modern times. Unfortunately, you have to really dig down deep to find it because they're not in the machine and they're not getting pushed in. Uh, the taste of popular culture hasn't been uh, calibrated to accept what they're doing, right? But people are making a lot of good music. And I, and I give thanks for these streaming platforms. I know there are negatives to it for the finances and all this other stuff, but I give thanks in regards to having access to music without having to dig through no crates and, and, and you know, because you really can now really get in tune and it's easier to have access to true artists, true musicians that are really creating powerful sounds that are really impactful compared to the more commercial thing that's being circulated for whatever party and agenda, whatever anyone wants to say, right? Um, another aspect I wanted to go back to was, um, you, you touched on it, but I wanted to talk more in regards to the negative aspect of music, right? You spoke about the cartel and this and that. Yo, be very careful of the music you're listening to, especially depending on the mood that you're in. If you're in an angry mood, I personally don't think you should be listening to violent music. Reason being, no, <laughs> you need to get out of that space and cool off, you know? And like, um, I think, I don't know. The music thing crazy. Like, I don't understand how you have like a person in a, a relationship, but they listen to music that refers to women as, uh, garden tools and use the B word and, you know, all this craziness. I don't know how you can listen to that all day, but go home and be in a stable relationship. Because the message that you get doesn't coincide with the reality that you're in, unless that's your reality. You know, um, I never understood. I remember that at church. This was bugged out, bro. <laughs> I was at a, I, I was at a function with church people. I was in the church. I was at a function with majority of church people. And when Slack came, song came on. I think it was at the time Beyonce was running that place. And the uh, pastor's wife was just carrying on with the song. And I just felt that's odd. I felt that like contradicts everything that you represent. You know, so it's just like, I think the type of music people listen to really, I don't want to hear nothing about no entertainment now because music shapes our thoughts, it shapes our behaviors, our fashions. You know, people, we need to do a reason on that there's no fashion. Everybody got their own fashion, but they say, oh, no, whatever's, whatever the artist is, is uh, presents us or tells us what we should be wearing, that's what majority of people will be wearing at that time. So the impact of the artist is crazy. You know, and it's just like, yeah, we're in a, uh, you know, we're in reggae, so it's not a mainstream ride. We ought to decide, but like the artists, these dudes are like, you know, they're very, 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 very impactful. And you need to be very, very careful of what you expose to, what you expose your ears to. You know, because remember, they're artists. I don't listen to all their songs. Cause I do listen to hip hop music, right? And you have artists where I can listen to one song, but I can't listen to the next. Cause the energy is just off. There's a there's an artist there, I think his name is La Russell, bro, right, from Cali. 
anybody listening check him out dope artist he has a lot of songs that i like but he has other songs i just can't it's not good for my frequency so i don't listen to him but you have to pick and choose i don't think yeah. there's a go ahead i was just gonna say i don't think there's an absolute artist out there where like all their music is like you can't listen to because everyone every artist that i've listened to even jay-z or biggie they have a, a very powerful uh song in the catalog so I can't I can't say that oh all their music is bad because that's just not the reality you know they have a they have a quote of the beat they're in the industry so but I guess at some point they let them push in a little something there that really come from the heart and those songs really hit <laughs> we can't deny them yes they're coming from the same person we're complicated human beings we have a duality or whatever reality within us you know the different parts within us so I can't really say it but yes we do burn a fire on the music that's very detrimental. But all of them has been able to express something. You know, I had some good motivation song, Popcorn, yeah? Popcorn or whatever proper name you say. Yeah, some good motivational tunes, yeah? And you have enough foolishness tunes, too. So I can't really say an artist that I've listened to, maybe they're out there that's just absolute, just negative. I haven't experienced that personally, but maybe it is, it is out there, you know? But you have to pick and choose. You have to really pick and choose what you're listening to. You have to really protect your eyes, protect your ears. You know, we can't be out here watching everything and we can't be out here and listen to everything because sound, I don't, listen, <clears throat> I just think metaphorically it meant something when they say in the beginning there was sound, yeah. With the word sound power. Because most people, the pain that they have is not from physical, it's from words. So we have to acknowledge that these words things have a very, 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 very powerful thing. Hey, you see, so... Something one would one would one would want to emphasize though is I think music over I mean, me there I mentioned a couple artists name, but what me what me think personal is that music bigger than artists is like right. Artists is just you, you, have, you have a human human we have to, we have to translate a message, right? Human beings have a translate message. So so that I think for even for the sense of the reason that it bigger than any artist any given artist at all. It, the concept of music. Music musicians are just like one little one little vessel, one little small, small vessel where barely visible when it comes to the concept of music. Because music created in a such a large reach, a large impact. And that's why we have to pay a keen attention to something in particular. It name every song we will listen to, here is one thing where it to take place with this song. It has to be distributed. Right? <laughs> so, if you think about the concept of distribution, you normally can't think about drugs, you can't think about any commodity being distributed. A same way, even though it's not tangible, it's the same way we're supposed to think about the concept of music, of music being distributed. So, you see, when music is being distributed, it's being distributed for a reason. Why do we distribute this particular product? See, or this particular service. What is the concept where we're, we're associated with the distribution? Because when you think about this distribution, a man talk about narcotics, you have the connotation towards narcotics. So you have to have a connotation towards the music we have been distributed to. And, as, and that's why music bigger than any given artist, because if you think about the distribution, distribution from a company, which is a company is made for a profit, they are gonna put out things where them where them plan to get returns after in regards to those record label. But then we would think about music more holistically. Sometimes the music not even have a record is too tough. Sometimes you can hear one live rendition of one music. Sometimes you hear some beautiful singers where hear some songs where they're not even gonna reach a sense a half a sense of popularity. But the music that touch your soul to a different type of core. Core and and, and at that me really want to emphasize the fact say, well, we don't really want to put the artists them too much in the spotlight for feel like say them them have that control over music per se because music have a bigger control even over the artists because every artist did have to get influenced by some particular music and that's why it and it even bring up more and more importance to their point but there I say there is no artist with hundred percent pure to the levels there because they're gonna do certain songs were powerful and they gonna have songs in the midst way but it not gonna reach you but even though it don't reach you you know the particular song they probably never meant for you still, you know, and that are the key, key thing to when the people need to understand, you know. So you see, people always compare artists, and it all, I always find it weird, because while they can compare one athlete and one sport, and you can use some statistics, some statistics for compare the artist there. Music is a total different concept. 
So you have a musician, theme power, purpose as a musician, have to spread, have to spread a revolutionary sound, have to, have, have to incite the revolution to a, to a particular aspect. While the next artist, them are going to be the, be the reminder for tell us, you know, say, love have to go, uh, we have to have some love and some tenderness, and you have to think about intimacy. They have a next artist you now where, where I dare give you some example, where I deal with some motivation for you, for you know, say, all right, when you reach a particular stage, uh, then you have, you have a next artist too, when you're not even a sense of self defense, where you have to know, say, you know, say, you're not going to trouble people, but you have to have your self defense stance, so you have to rag in a rough same way. So it's like you have a different ingredients for the different time in the way you go through. And every artist will come with some song. Even you think about even artists like called Phantom Mojo. You see how them man they kinda go off in a them own a world and I live in a them own a world. So but when we think about the, the stage when the man that it come through some powerful and they give thanks and praise and them vibes there, it just to give you energy. And even though you know about man like Jack Cure them where you know say so them man and they even have no morality attached to them for certain levels. Because it is what it is, you know, we are rebel, you know, we can't talk or we are talk. But, so, but we are talk about the, 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 the song, them. When you start listening to them and the song, you, you, you can't help but feel it. When you think about R. Kelly, them, to see him, we are just a reality. We can't, we can't use go across any genre, think about R. Kelly, them, and them man that who, 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 who so immoral to certain levels and things. But when you listen to them and the music, you can't help but, but feel the different energy and the different vibration the Bakawa. The song, them, was meant for a purpose. And th these men are just vessels of the message. So you have overstand say them are vessels are the vessels are the message that we can't really look towards him. Because artist thing, if you focus on artist thing, it's just a look on one sided thing. But the music bigger than any artist, I'm an artist and we can't tell like that. I'm glad you brought that up because <laughs> I'm glad I'm right, I'm glad you brought that up because my musical mentor, the great Jeff Sarge, once told me, always separate the music from the artist. And I want to tell you one thing. One of the most disappointing things you can ever experience is meeting your uh, artist or uh, celebrity. I don't know the term. In general, right? Because that, as I, as far as I just stated, that met a lot of, first of all, a lot of the tunes are written by another person. So we have to factor that in, right? So, but the fact that they are a vessel for getting that music out. And I think too many times we expect the artist to have the behavior of the song and there are too many different it's just a disconnect right and I think that's why that's why people criticize artists so much because they do uh, expect like if a person saying something that their life should uh, mimic that uh, 100 and that's just not the case you know uh, remember it's a business um, there's so many different ingredients that goes to the creation of a song you may have three four or five people writing one song it took five different energies to get that message out. And now the talent is the voice to get it out to the public. But we take that talent as the person that's just, you know, this person. Bugged out story. I remember Marvin Gaye, I was reading his book and I was just reading how shy he was. And I thought that was so wild because he was presented as a ladies man. And like, um, he would send somebody over to talk to a lady before because he couldn't deal with rejection. You know what I'm saying? And like, he wasn't like, you know, it was, it was bugged out, but basically his personal life did not match what the sex symbol he was presenting himself as, you know? But, um, yeah, just make sure you just don't accept the music and kind of don't have the same expectation. Don't let the words of the song shape your view of the artist. It's like you got to listen to the music in a different, uh, disconnect the music from the artist, you know, because, um, or anyone who has been around particular artists, I'm <laughs> pretty sure you were probably shocked at the behavior, you know, and said, wow, all right, I didn't know you got that like that, but I, all right then, right? But um, no, that really is the case. And as a person who's been around numerous artists, I've experienced that firsthand where that's why I don't go into an expectation with anyone I meet. I just, whether it's, uh, you know, intellectual conversation or interviewing an artist, I just speak about their work and kind of like, you know, focus on the work and not get too into the person because, uh, it's, it's a disconnect. One may argue and say, well, you know, if you're, you know, a gospel singer, I guess you're supposed to be ho holier than now, but there's still a human being at the end of the day, you know, because uh, none of us, all of us have our faults and we have our shortcomings. So I don't know why you put an expectation on them you don't have on yourself. You know, there's everything you say in your personal life you do are with the standard. So it's just like, why is that the case with an artist? You know, different standard, which is, is unfair, but um, I do encourage anyone listening to listen to some good music. Um, there's a lot of good music out there. 
And I want to say, give thanks for you. Hey, listen, man, as I said, these d- things do have an exploitive uh, aspect to it for the artist. So I will say that, right? But in regards to the music consumer, man, it's like the greatest time because a lot of good music, you have to be like a certain regions or certain circles that have access to them. Now, you have access to, it's a lot of people out there making great music, man. They may not be a commercial success, right? But it's great, 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 great music, uh, both from a, uh, a lyrical standpoint and a uh, musical standpoint. So uh, listen to some like challenge yourself to listen to somebody, just listen to random music for, right? and you'd be shocked to see how many good songs you run into. I think we're so locked into this top 10 and whatever they're telling us to listen to. I'm like, yo, just listen to random artists, you know, and you'll be shocked. It's a lot of good music out there, man. I will say that there's a lot of good music. Will you? <laughs> there's a lot of good music out there. And uh, because I'm I'm into this whole different R and B thing that's going on and it's it's a whole vibe of people. Obviously they're not mainstream but fight. They make it some powerful sounds with live musicians too and they kick. You know, and, and, and we give thanks for them too, because it's a lot of courage and a lot of sacrifice to do this, because I know they're not getting the, the, the compensation that they would desire. Hopefully they get something that where they could live their life, but you know, these people are really committed to the thing because they're making some good music and they're not compromising. They're not approaching this thing from a commercial aspect to the sense that we just gotta make this because it's the guaranteed sound you know and that music hit um different so um we give thanks for everyone listening as and another thing i want to say before we leave far is that be careful of the music that you're listening to you know, right be careful of the music that you're listening to the music you listen to gotta coincide with the type of movement you gotta be on it's like you have to you have to propagate your own self to get your mind in order. You can't be giving all these different, 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 different signs and energies to your mind, you know, because it's enough. We're bombarded with enough stuff. You have to really like hone in on what you're exposing yourself to. And you can't be listening to this rah rah music all day. I see some people listen to some music early in the morning. I don't know if they're trying to wake up for it, but it's like it's just too much, you know. It's 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 it's, it's over over stimulation. It's just too much, too much going on, you know. You have too much going on in your head by listening to those things, you know. So uh, we give thanks for everyone tuned in. Well, and I'm going to what work, what work, what what work, 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 and then when you think about music where you consume first thing in the morning, that gonna your subconscious and lead your idea forward, you know. You know, joke thing in the car. Where you start your morning with any message you start your morning with in the best beliefs, you have to apply that to the next person where you see. And then after that, but something else I'm more add towards the whole thing for you. You see, the background music. So more people start to be more conscious of because music is so powerful that it is it, it all around where we not even overstand it enough for you. I mean not even meant for sound too. It's Esoteric band this enough, but you see music so powerful. Alright, check movies. When you watch movies, why you think they put for different scenes, them apply different particular music. You see, if it's a scary scene, you start hearing them like a minor key there. And if you want to see the people up here, start hearing them major key there. Yeah, you have to be careful of background music. Cause sometimes, yeah, alright, it's like I'm going to find myself, say, when time I go on the street, I catch myself sometimes, I, I, I sing some tune, I, I sing some tune, and I say to myself, but I never listen that in my personal space yet. Oh, I know them tune even word for word. And you know, the truth is, I'm to catch music so fast. I catch music so fast, from what I walk past or I drive past and hear a song I play, and it might sound catchy. I'm, I'm avid now, I'm head, and so I realize uh, sometimes there's some negative sounds that out there. So you have to be careful because background music is a thing where it will drone you out. And you're not even overstanding. Oh, I feel so. You know, I feel so. I feel so lame. The music where you listen to, it probably did that have you go too fast. And then you realize you start get tired after a time. You see me, I say, and you know, overstand because it's not nothing where you are consciously are listening. You know? So certain sounds in your background, you have to be careful. Like, you ever notice it like you live in a city and you're in a place where be a construction or go on. And because all of them look not not knocking sound the way I go on, it just start, it just show you off. And your man in Kiang go and go there, you live near a train station. Every minute you try to sleep, you start hear the train up pass. At the same type of concept, I'm, I really music that, you know. I want it, I want to hear them know, you know, because a combination of sounds, you know. But the combinations of sounds that show you off. And at the same way, 
it cut to, to a certain recording that combinations of sounds can show you off. So be careful of background music. It's not a joke thing. Music is a powerful something, man. No, a serious thing. And as far as stated, all all forms of propaganda has music. Uh, very music, very powerful in elections, sports, movies. Movies are very manipulative, but the the the, the uh they, they do a great job too, man. Like, um, I watched one kitty movie with my daughter the other day, and like just the the amount of songs that they throw at you, bro, and even the the levels. Because sometimes what I notice with those is that. The level of the music exceeds the talking. You get what I'm saying? That's that's a very uh, powerful thing psychologically because you always figure the talking would uh, be higher than the, the music, but a lot of times they just give it in there, they bring it back down, and yeah, they're very scientific, right? They know what they're doing, yeah. They know what they're doing with music, and we need to figure out what they're doing with music. And also, too, man, look at the music because last thing I want to say with the the mood is that. Uh, speaking to students, speaking to younger students, uh, they were telling me how the music makes them more insecure and feel bad about themselves uh, due to the brag. And then, you know, you know that vibe, like you don't have this or you ain't this and accomplished. So like, if you find yourself in that, just turn it off, bro. You don't have to listen to it, you know? So uh, we give thanks for everybody supporting the thing from those time. Get free time. Make sure you check us out. I never knew TV.com. Make sure you tune in. I never knew radio. Uh, I reason there from Yaki Awaken. Don't want to miss that powerful reason with the brilliant breakdown. And make sure you check out EP. Speaking of music, you want to hear some powerful music, right? And <laughs> this is not, this is just the truth. Check out our Tarchi's EP, this is the status quo. Uh, my favorite deer, was it Many Rivers? Um, yes, I. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So make sure you check that out, all right?